Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, I am uh, Dr. Shakir uh, Abu Harbid. I want to present here some pharmacology discuss questions from uh, type multiple choice questions and true and false questions, which is good for preparing of uh, pharmacology exams uh, for nurses and uh, other uh, specialties in the field of uh, medicines. We will begin here with the first type of questions, which is multiple choice uh, questions. Uh, and uh, the question is choose the correct and uh, best answer. Uh, the first question is Pythanicol, uh, it's a generic name, trade name uh, Eurycline S. Here the answers, the choices, parasympathomimetic, sympathomimetic, acyclinergic uh, antagonist, uh, and finally the adrenergic antagonist. As we know, bethanicol is uh, mimic the action of bethanicol mimic the action of acetylcholine. So the answer is A, parasympathomimetic. Uh, now uh, the second uh, questions. Atropine is used for treatment of atropine, as we know, is cholinergic antagonists and uh, has many therapeutic uses. Uh, let we see the answers. A. Overdose of cholinergic agonists. B. Organophosphate toxicity. C. Mascarinic mushrooms toxicity and the all answers are correct. Uh, as we know, uh, atropine is used for treatment in all of these cases. So the answer is D is correct. All answers are correct. The third question is benign prostatic hyperplasia, which uh, abbreviated by PPH, is treated by. Here are the examples of drugs A. Atenolol. P. Propranolol, C. Brazosine, and D. Epinephrine. Uh, the main indication of Brazosine is treatment of benign prostatic hyperplasia. So, is the answer is uh, Brazosine. The fourth question is uh, say the questions. The question bethanicol urine is indicated for treatment of. Uh, let us see the answers. A. Asthma. B. Urinary retention. C. Constipation. A. And D. Hypertension. Uh, when we uh, read the uses of therapeutic uh, effects and indication of bethanicol, uh, the best answer is urinary retention. It's a mean. Uh, indication of bethanicol. The fifth question is, which side effect from an anticholinergic agent such as atropine is unexpected? Here uh, we will choose uh, the answer that is unexpected. Uh, it means uh, that is false. Uh, let us see the answers. Dry mouth, B, diarrhea, C, urinary retention, and D, dilated pupils. Uh, when we discuss these uh, side effects, uh, we will found the only exception is diarrhea. Why? Because atropine uh, causes uh, constipation. The question number six, catecholamine include, includes the following except. And he will uh, try to find uh, the incorrect answer. Uh, dopamine, ephedrine, C, epinephrine, and D, norepinephrine. Uh, we will see dopamine is a, a catecholamine, uh, epinephrine 
is also to end norim if so so the answer is ephedrine ephedrine is uh, a non catechol i mean question number seven rhizocene with the trade name minibras let us see the choices uh, rhizocene is anticholinergic b as anti dysrhythmic c as urinary tract antispasmodic and the antihypertensive the correct answer is d antihypertensive now question number eight which are common side effects of bethanicol let us discuss the choices the first choice is abdominal cramping second choice b hypertension there's choice C constipation and fourth choice is tachycardia the common side effect is here is abdominal cramping it's common in all patients where they take bethanicol question number nine serious adverse effects of succinylcholine uh, succinylcholine is uh, muscle relaxants it has many side of a side effects, serious, serious adverse effects. Uh, let us discuss the choices. Uh, first choice is malignant hyperthermia. Second choice, respiratory depression, tertiary dysrhythmias. The all answers are correct. Uh, we will see that uh, succinylcholine has all these serious adverse effects. So the answer is D. Question number 10. Indicate the agent of choice in the emergency therapy of anaphylactic shock. In this severe case, serious case anaphylactic shock, we have uh, some drugs which must use immediately. Uh, in this question, the answers of the choices are xylobetazoline, uh, beta-butylene, C phenyl efferent and D epinephrine. The first source of anaphylactic shock treatment as epinephrine or adrenaline. Question number 11. Serious adverse effect of propranolol in the role include the choices is A rebound hypertension, P life threatening dysrhythmias, C myocardial ischemia, and D all answers are correct uh, we will found that a b and c are the serious adverse effect of a proper animal uh, so the best and predicted answer is d here all answers are correct question number 12 succinylcholine with the trade name anistine and colucine the choice number one A skeletal muscle relaxant, okay, B neuromuscular blocker, C A and B is the correct answer, and D none of the above. Uh, succinylcholine is a neuromuscular blocker and skeletal muscle relaxant, so the correct answer is C. Question number 13 isobretinol S. Uh, now we discuss the selectivity of this drug. Uh, first choice was A, an alpha and beta receptor agonist. Second choice is beta 1 selective agonist. And third choice C, beta 2 selective agonist. And the non selective beta receptor agonist. The best answer or the correct answer is D, as of written or is uh, beta receptor agonist from non-selective time. Question number 14. Uh, to avoid the first dose phenomenon, the thin nails know that the initial dose of brazosine minibus should be. It is important for nursing consideration uh, when uh, the nails handle uh, with uh, uh, the drug brazosine. Uh, let us see the uh, choices. First choice A, 
uh, the dose should be very low and given at big time. Uh, second uh, choice doubled and given before breakfast. See the usual dose and given before breakfast. D doubled and given immediately after breakfast. As we uh, uh, have learned about resistance, uh, the first dose should be very low and given at bit time to avoid the orthostatic hypotension, which is the first dose phenomena uh, which common in the patients where they take in this drug. So the answer is A. Question number 15, which of the following drug is selective beta-on adrenergic antagonist? See the answers, the choices, Razocene, Bifidolamine, Cipropranolol, and the Metoprolol. Uh, the type of the pharmacologic classification of the drug, D is selective beta-on adrenergic Agon. So, metoprolol is the correct answer. Question number 16. Therapeutic uses of zolpidem. He will try to remember the therapeutic classification of zolpidem. The answers or the choices is A, anticonvulsant, anti-epileptic drug. Second uh, choice, short-term treatment. Insomnia, C muscle relaxants, and the all of the above. The correct answer is short term treatment of insomnia. Sulpidem is belong to non benzodiazepine anxiolytic and used for treatment of insomnia. So B is the answer. Question number 17 Cyclobenzaprine uh, is. Uh, Direct acting skeletal muscle relaxants or centrally acting antispasmodic C or use for treatment of malignant hypothermia or the all of the above. The correct answer is B. It is centrally acting antispasmodic. Question number 18. Only long acting barbiturates. You will see examples of barbiturate. Let us see. The first example of choice thiobintal, second penobarbital, C penobarbital, and D none of the above. The only long acting barbiturate is phenobarbital, so the C is the correct answer. Question number 19 All of the following drugs belong to benzodiazepine, except here we will see examples of drug. Some of them belong to benzodiazepine. Only one is considered non-benzodiazepine. Let us see. The first choice is lorazepam is a benzodiazepine. Solbidem is non-benzodiazepine. Chlorodiazepine is the first drug of benzodiazepine which is used. And finally, is diazepam. So the best answer is, or correct answer is, solbidem. The final questions uh, number 20 uh, say the questions which question which statement regarding the use of solbidem for insomnia is accurate. Let us see the answers. Choices first choice solbidem is contraindicated during pregnancy but can be taken by pre priest feeding mothers. No, it's false. Be quiet using ambient should avoid foods that contain tyramine. It's false. C. Zolpidem ambient is classified as benzodiazepine. Also false. Finally, D. Advise clients to take Zolpidem ambient just before bedtime. So, D is the correct answer. These are examples of 20 questions for multiple choice questions. Now we will discuss other types of questions with true and false questions. The first question is true or false. Benzodiazepines are CNS stimulant. Uh, the answer is false because benzodiazepines are CNS depressants. Second 
Trond phosphorescent terbutaline is beta 2 selective agonist. True or false? The answer is true. So it's used for treatment of asthma and other respiratory disease. Third question, administration of subcutaneous atropine quickly reverses most symptoms of bethanicol overdose. True and false, uh, the answer is true. So by overdose of bethanicol, we will use uh, atropine subcutaneously, which is helpful in the treatment of bethanicol overdose or toxicity. Fourth question, indirect acting cholinergic drug are also known as cholinesterase stimulators. Uh, the answer is false. Direct, indirect acting cholinergic drug are also known as cholinesterase inhibitors is the answer. Fifth question, mechamyl amine act autonomic ganglia to lower blood pressure in emergency situation. Uh, this is true. Okay. Uh, this uh, sentence is true uh, because mechamyl I mean, is very affecting a lowering blood pressure in emergency situation. Question number six: Paclofen fluorizal is a direct acting skeletal muscle relaxant. The answer is false. It is centrally acting skeletal muscle relaxant. Question number seven, atropine should be administered by slowly IV injection to avoid paradoxical pedicurium. As we learned, it's false. It must be, should be administered quickly. So the answer, the sentence is false here. Question number eight, even if it can be typically applied in surgical procedures to induce vasoconstriction and thus reduce blood loss. As we know, epinephrine activate alpha-1 receptors blood vessel, causing vasoconstriction. So the blood flow is reduced, and it will reduce blood loss. So the sentence is true. Question number nine: Dantrolene is used for treatment of malignant hyperthermia. Uh, this severe case with tension of life-threatening condition uh, can be uh, seen by patients treated by succinylcholine or general anesthetics uh, and uh, the patients will suffer from the muscle rigidity so the dentronine is very useful in this case so the answer is true the final questions uh, number 10 women over 35 years have a high risk of hepatotoxicity excessive from dentroline uh, this is true so, uh, if the, the patient is a woman and uh, her age is over 35, uh, many uh, considerations and uh, guidelines must be considered during the treatment, uh, and uh, we will monitor the hepatic uh, function test uh, to avoid hepatotoxicity from. Uh, so this is the, was the 10 examples of true and false questions. Uh, thank you for watching this video uh, and uh, uh, I will be pleasure if you will subscribe this channel uh, to, to, to receive all the new things about the pharmacology and pharmacology discuss uh, questions.